to the poetry moment featuring Sterling Allen Brown's poem, After Winter. I'm Shania Hudson. Farming requires the soul of an optimist. Every year, farmers put winter's lean months behind them, tuck seeds into chilly ground, and hope for a harvest. This poem, After Winter, hangs just in the balance of that time, when the ground is still cold, but the farmer is dreaming of picking sweet corn and eggplants. Poet Sterling Allen Brown spent summers at his family's farm in Howard County, Maryland on Whiskey Bottom Road. He returned to Howard County to read for Hoka Calypso in 1980, before the organization began recording its programs, so his reading is only in memory. But Ellen Conroy Kennedy, founder of Howard County Poetry and Literature Society, wrote a piece for Callaloo Magazine about his visit, titled Searching for Sterling Brown's Howard County. She recalled Brown reading after winter, at the afternoon event and said the speaker in the poem, who calls himself a scarecrow, was modeled after Brown's father, a minister and professor at Howard University. The poet, who taught literature and mentored famous poets as a professor for 40 years at Howard University, told the story of the reading of his father, the farmer, growing butter beans and sweet corn on his North Laurel farm, Sterling remembered boyhood summers running free through the woods and fields. In fact, when he signed a copy for Kennedy of his collection of poetry, after correcting some typos and making some notes in the book about missing poems, he wrote, with memories of a warm reception of my poetry reading in Columbia on April 27, 1980. I feel close to Howard County since I spent the summers of my early boyhood and young manhood on a farm on Whiskey Bottom Road so it was good to come home again before signing his name. Kennedy won a grant for Hoko Calypso to commission two historians to research Brown's farm. The researchers found that the poet's father purchased 100 acres in 1911 as a summer retreat from Washington, DC, and how Brown's ancestors had worked farms as enslaved people. The Brown family probably took the B&O Railroad to the Laurel or Annapolis Junction Station in the early part of the 20th century, then rode a buggy to the farm. The family spent summers on the farm for decades until the house burned in the 1950s and they sold the property. The land was cut up and paved over for Route 95. Michael S. Harper, a poet in his own right, who edited and selected the award-winning Collected Poems of Sterling Brown, it was Brown's literary executor said on Hoko Calypso's literary talk show, The Writing Life, to anyone who had any sense, he was called the Dean of Afro-American Literature, Harper added. He had a great sense of story, Harper said, talking about narrative poems like After Winter. His work studying Black Southern culture and music affected his writing, giving his poetry rhythm and repetition, Harper explained. After Winter is a poem that captures a farmer's life of obstacle and optimism. The daughters named in the poem, Clara and Grace, were Sterling's elder sisters. So Little Feller, presumably, is Sterling as a boy. This reading of After Winter is by Brown himself, recorded by Smithsonian Folk Ladies and accompanied by Howard University photographer Roy Lewis's picture of Brown and his wife, Daisy. Renowned poet, Camille Dungy, wrote about After Winter. The pride of ownership in this poem, the hope for the future, they warn me, even though I know that winter is inside the poem too. As the back and forth placement of the stanzas suggests, this poem is unstable. It ends in an ellipsis and the unfinished repeated thought. There is nothing certain or permanent about it, but oh, oh, good gracious, there is in it a home for hope. And now, After Winter by Sterling Allen Brown. After Winter. He snuggles his fingers in the blacker loam. The lean months are done with, the fat to come. His eyes are set on a brushwood fire, but his heart is soaring higher and higher. Though he stands ragged, an old scarecrow, this is the way his swift thoughts go. Butter beans for Clara, sugar corn for Grace, 
And for the little fella, running space. Radishes and lettuce, eggplants and beets, turnips for the winter, and candied sweets. Homespun tobacco, apples in the bin, for smoking and for cider, when the folks traps in. He thinks with the winter, his troubles are gone. Ten acres, unplanted, to raise dreams on. The lean months are done with, the fat to come. His hopes, winter wanderers, hasten home. Butter beans for Clara, sugar corn for Grace, and for the little fella, running space. Thank you.